to see you. It's been a great month here at Jesus and Jammies where God's story brings us together. You might say I'm a super fan of what we've been talking about this month, kindness. Kindness is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. We've talked about how important it is for us to show kindness and treat others the way we want to be treated. After all, everyone is valuable. Everyone is made in the image of God. We can show people how valuable they are when we act like super fans, when we treat them with kindness, respect, and love. We can show kindness to people who are a lot like us and to people who aren't like us too. And we'll get into that a little bit later in our story. But for now, let's check out this week's Get Real video. I'm Lawson, and I'm here to tell you today that kind is cool. Oh, Lawson. Not kind to interrupt mom, and definitely not cool. Okay. Anyhow, I've got this super awesome story today I heard from this kid Owen in my cousin's scout troop. Now, Owen cannot believe it when he finds out a babysitter is coming while mom goes out that evening. He says, I'm 11. I don't need a sitter. But his mom says she's gonna be out really late. And she asks, can you really take care of your sister all evening without fighting? And Owen has to admit that could be a problem. And mom tells them, Miss Loudon will be here at six. And Owen complains, she smells weird, like Brussels sprouts. Plus he remembers, she laughs really loud like a hyena. <laughs> when Miss Loudon arrives, Owen says, I'm too old for a sitter. You're just here for a lease. And Miss Loudon agrees. Of course, Owen. For dinner, Miss Loudon fixes tuna broccoli casserole with chocolate liver sauce. He mumbles, she is a terrible cook. After dinner, Miss Loudon suggests, let's make oatmeal raisin cookies. But Owen is like, I don't think so. And then Miss Loudon offers to read aloud her favorite book, Little House on the Prairie. And Owen shakes his head, no thanks. And then he stalks out. Owen decides he's gonna hide in his room for the rest of the night, but then, her reading all the voices to Elise. And then he realizes she's just trying to be nice. So Owen heads back downstairs and he says, I thought you can use this while you read. And then he suggests that maybe they could make oatmeal cookies, but with chocolate chips. And they add M&Ms too, plus gummy bears and sprinkles and fruity pebbles. So kids, always remember that a weird laugh is better than no laugh. And don't forget that kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. Hey mom, you want a cookie? Oh, that's really nice, Lawson. But I think you should take a look at your shirt. The kind is cool, so what? Look again, bud. Kid is cool. Oh, oh, thanks. Okay, all right. I gotta go find a Sharpie real quick. I'll be right back. See you guys next time. Bye. Ow. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Hi friends, we've been talking about kindness all month and I know you've come up with some great ways that you can show kindness to others. It's really important that we choose to be kind and not just to the people who you might expect. We know that's true because of a story Jesus once told. 
Crowds of people followed Jesus around. They knew that he had performed miracles and healed people. They wanted to be near him and hear what he had to say, which made the religious leaders really nervous. They didn't believe Jesus is the Son of God, and they didn't like how everyone seemed to follow him. So they looked for ways to try to trick Jesus into saying something that would make him look bad. One day, a law expert <laughs> asked Jesus a question. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus asked the man what was written in the law. The man answered with words from scripture. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jesus told the man that he answered correctly. But the man wanted to make himself look good to other people. So he asked Jesus one more question. He asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus chose to answer the man by telling a story. And I'll tell it to you today with the help of one of the best actors I know. Big Eej, come on up. I'm ready. Let's do this. Now, in Jesus' story, a man was traveling from the city of Jerusalem to Jericho. Ah, oh, what a lovely day for Shul. But robbers attacked him. They beat him up and left him almost <laughs> dead. Oh, oh. The poor man was lying there, hurt, on the side of the road. Uh, someone help. Oh. Just then, he saw someone walking toward him over the horizon. Oh, oh look! It's a, it's a priest! Someone who works in God's temple. Surely a priest is going to stop and help him out, right? Unfortunately, the priest didn't help the hurt man. He actually crossed the road and walked by on the other side. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. You're telling me the priest didn't even stop when he saw the guy lying there on the road? I'm afraid not. Yeah, you can, you can go back to your, to your position. Now, Jesus continued his story. The hurt man saw someone else coming down the road, a Levite. A Levite was also someone who worked in God's temple, kind of like a worship leader. You'd expect someone like that to stop and help, right? I mean, this poor guy is lying here, crying out in pain. Uh -huh. Oh, the Levite did exactly what the priest did. When he saw the man, he crossed the street the to avoid him exactly. and walked by on the other side. Two church people did the exact same thing? They totally ignored the guy who was hurt on the side of the road? Are you sure this is a great story about kindness, Dad? Hey, don't worry. The story gets better. I promise. Well, okay. Back at it, I guess. Oh. Later, someone else came down the road. A Samaritan. Uh. I know, I know. Here's what you need to know about Samaritans. Jewish people and Samaritans were related to each other, but they were enemies. The Samaritans worshipped God differently than the Jewish people did. Samaritans didn't like hanging out with the Jewish people, and the Jewish people didn't like hanging out with Samaritans. But in Jesus' story, it was the Samaritan who chose kindness. He felt sorry for the hurt man. He bandaged the man's wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn. The next day, the Samaritan paid the innkeeper with two silver coins. He told the innkeeper to take care of the man and that he would be back later to pay for any extra expenses. Remember the law expert at the beginning of the story who asked Jesus the question in the first place? Who's my neighbor? Jesus asked him this. Which of the three guys do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? The law expert could see that the answer was clear. It was the Samaritan, the one who felt sorry for him. <laughs> yep. Jesus told the man, go and do as the Samaritan did. Jesus' story made it very clear. Anyone you'll ever meet is your neighbor. We shouldn't just show kindness to people who are like us. We should show kindness to everyone we meet. Be kind to people who are different from you. Everyone who needs you to show them God's love is your neighbor, whether they like you or not, act like you or believe like you. Now, let's pray and ask God to help us show that kind of kindness to everybody. 
Dear God, man, it is difficult at times to be kind to someone who, quite frankly, is different from us, God. Sometimes we're afraid to be kind, afraid of what might happen, God. Sometimes we're just flat out scared. God, help us to show not only kindness to those who are different, God, but in showing kindness, show your love for all of us, God, when we're kind to people who are different from us. Help us to have the courage to reach out to people who are different from us, God, and show them that kind of kindness. God, in everything, we give you thanks. And it's in your son's name we pray. Amen. It's important for us to show kindness to other people because everyone is important to God. Everyone is valuable to him. That's true about people who are similar to you, and, and it's also true about people who are very different from you. We need to remember this. Be kind to people who are different from you. We can look at the way Jesus lived and see how he showed kindness to everyone. He hung out with the people who others had forgotten, people who were sick and people who had done wrong things in the past. Jesus even made a Samaritan the hero of the story we told today, someone who most Jewish people would have seen as an enemy. And when Jesus died on the cross, he did it for everyone. He would show kindness to every person he met. And we should show kindness to every person we meet, just like he did. You can show how much you love God by the way you treat others. Do you not know how to start? Try doing this. Ask questions to understand people who are different from you. Show them that they matter to you. Think about what's best for them, not just what's best for you. Well, that's gonna wrap another episode of Jesus and Jammies. We hope you learned a little more about faith and had some fun along the way. Make sure to join us for our online streaming worship service at 10.30 a.m. Everyone is welcome. Instructions are on our website, GenevaPress.org. So from all of us here at the Jesus and Jammy studio, may you have the joy, love, and peace of Jesus until we see each other again. Lego! You are God.